you guys don't really have any more questions for me, do you? <laughs> at, this, at this point, it's 11 seasons. Maybe one or two. Maybe one or two? Well, we like, keep, what did you do with your summer vacation? We <laughs> keep hearing about the darkness. Can you tell us about what the darkness is and how it's going to interact with the boys' lives this season? I don't necessarily know what the darkness is. That hasn't been established. Uh, not to mention, I've only read about four or five episodes right now. So, we're just, we're just filming the episode. Um, well, we're actually filming episode three right now because uh, I'm directing it, and so they allowed me to come back. Very the, nice that they do this and, and let me direct um, one of them, and, and that way I can prep that I have to work. And you guys know the story I've told you. <laughs> Is uh, that the Impala episode? Jeremy Carver mentioned there was going to be an episode film strictly no, Impala. No, that will be. Um, that I believe that one is four. That will air number four, so that'll be the one after we're doing right now, um, which I'm excited about. But uh, uh, the darkness is, um, you know, and this is just from what I've gotten from, from Jeremy, and I'm sure you can ask him, he'll, he'll tell you the same thing. It's, it's pre-biblical, it's, this is, you know, this is beyond angels and demons. This is something that, uh, that we've never, never dealt with before, which is kind of cool because it kind of gives us, uh, you know, there's no boundaries as to what we can, what we can do. There's no, there's no formula, there's no, you know, even though we, we tend to break boundaries and, and do what we want anyway. Uh, this is kind of un, untapped territory, so uh, I'm looking forward to seeing it. What I'm really looking forward to is the fact that it's a common target that the boys can kind of unite on and get some more allies to fight, you know, a, a big bad. And, uh, you know, usually it is one of the brothers is afflicted with something bad, you know, whether it's demon blood or the mark of Cain or you know, something to that effect, and we're fighting to save each other. This is, now we're fighting to save humanity. And I think that that's, uh, that's something I can certainly get on board with. Um, it'll be a lot easier not to have to play the Mark of Cain anymore. I'm happy to be done with that. Uh, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The directing side is a great, you know, fun challenge to do. Yes. When you look back on the Mark of Cain, going into an 11th season, what has been probably like your favorite thing so that's happened so far? And what are you most looking forward to moving forward on this? I know that's, a, that's hard to sum I know, up. That's, yeah, and, and, and instead of giving like a specific thing, I, I'll give kind of a, a general thing. One of my most favorite things about season 11 is the fact that it's been 11, that, that we're going to have 11 years uh, in the bank. And, and that is to be able to, to grow and tell a story that spans over a decade uh, is something that... that very rare, very rarely is done in film and television. It's impressive for a genre show. It, it is for, for for any show uh, to have to have that many years under their belt to be able to flesh out the story and to flesh out the characters and to bring new characters in and ha and then get rid of them and then maybe a few years down the line bring them back and so uh, the recycling of of actors and actresses that we've done in in, uh, in Vancouver has been pretty astonishing. Um, now we're known as a show. If you haven't worked on Supernatural, then you probably aren't going to be. You, pro you, you probably should just turn in your resume. Um, but uh, I, I would say that that is the most impressive thing to me is the fact that, that we've been able to tell the story now. Yeah, that's yeah. impressive. Yeah.